the fans in Baku, and we talked about this myself and Brendan when we had played for golf. We'll not talk about the result. And um, the fans in Baku, now me and Brendan have talked about we've had our thoughts on it. I know your thoughts on it privately, like, but I think obviously we want everyone else to hear them. I just, I, like, I just don't get how anyone can argue that it is a good idea to have it there. I, I, I don't. And I know there's other people will say things about what other countries have done and different things people are using now. The fact that it was at Wembley, well, sure, the British government, and this isn't a politics podcast, uh, whatever, they killed thousands in Iraq, but you still held up there and there was no uh, complaints or fuss. That's a massive big water about trio, which I don't really agree with. A footballer can't go and play in Baku mm -hmm. for fear of his life. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about this. I know it's an Arsenal player, so it's more probably annoying you more. That sort of bring a red flag up for me if I was back in a final somewhere. Yeah. Um, as in, I've said, I know people probably crying, call me a hypocrite or whatever, but I am the biggest fan of Mkhitaryan. I think he's not been great for Arsenal. He's been all right in the Europa League, but besides the point, you know, someone tried to make the point about Arsenal fans yapping about he's been given off with this £200,000 a week player, but as soon as he can't play in the final, it's like a tragedy. But it's not, it's not about, you know, whether he's good or bad or whatever, it's like a footballer can't play a game of football in a European final. It's just, it's ridiculous. It shouldn't happen. Um, a lot of people have made the point, and I'm sure people who are watching this think the same thing. It was Messi or Ronaldo. It would have been changed. It would have been no doubt. Because, because who they are, but because it's Mkhitaryan, it's like, well, we don't care. And Mkhitaryan, he could have, he could have made a difference for us in the final. You know, he's, he's capable of stepping up and, like I guess I happened this year at their place, he just he was probably one of the best players for Arsenal. He scored two goals, <clears throat> and the Europa League he's been decent too. And you know we won it with United a few years back, so it is a loss, of course. And now we're relying on players like Danny Welbeck who haven't played since before the new year. Yeah, people haven't spoken about that. It's it's Mkhitaryan's probably in the Arsenal squad, like one of a very small number who have been in major finals. Like, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. So like that experience could count massively. On the day, going out to warm up, dealing with the crowd, dealing with a new stadium, etc., etc., and he's just not going to be there, and Arsenal are missing out on that. So it's a big deal. Like. Champions League final as well. I think he played for Dortmund against Bayern Munich in was twenty thirteen. So yeah, he's experienced of European finals. So it is it is a lot to have a player like that around the change room. So I don't know. Well, I think personally, I think it was spur the players on that want to go do it for Mkhitaryan. Um, uh, Everything seems to be going too well for Arsenal going into this final with the injuries Chelsea have been getting. But then again, Arsenal are missing Mkhitaryan and missing Aaron Ramsey, which is a big thing for them, I think. And probably what kind of destroyed us at the end of the season was missing Aaron Ramsey. Seeing him in his wee Juventus shirt there the other day and <laughs> near, near killed me. <laughs>